Hi lovelies, so I'm just doing a little bit of a vlog. I'm currently in the car park of sort of like a little shopping type centre. I've got a few pictures I'll shove in. Um, and this is my first time going to do my food shopping in four months. I'm on my own. Um, just, uh, you know, I've just noticed that we had a bit of a big rain shower while I was driving down. So it's a 40 minute drive away from where I actually live to get to a place where we've got a decent things like a Tesco and an Aldi and a Boots and things like that. So I'm currently here, I'm in the car park. Um, it's not as busy as I expected. Um, I'm still a little bit freaked out. I have my mask, I have my hand sanitizer, I have all that kind of good jazz. So I'm gonna go in and the next time, you know, I'll be talking to you will probably be when I'm back at home in my filming room in the safety of my own little bubble I'm not going to tell you a lie I am literally kind of a little bit crapping myself at the moment lovelies because I'm noticing there are a few people around nobody seems to be wearing a mask and um, I haven't seen well it's just ridiculous there's, there's definitely no social distancing going on for people in the car park anyway so I will see how I get on in the supermarket unfortunately I'm not going to be able to film that experience because it is against the rules here to film while in the shop so that's the best I can do for you apart from explain afterwards on how I get on so see you in a second all right lovelies so today's shop at Aldi we bought two fuchsias and these ones just had two little petals coming out of them just here. So I got to see kind of what colours they were. Quite cute there for the garden. Then we've got, these were two euros and 49 cent each. Then we have the big 1k box of cornflakes. Then we have Brennan's ham, some corn, chicken pieces, two ready meals because I'm a lazy cow today. Um, an Irish bacon and cabbage, and then for me, oh, it's upside down, a roast dinner. Then I picked up some Irish chicken breast fillets. Hopefully, I'll manage to stick up, you know, the prices and things like that for these, so you get a rough idea of what we are in Euro. These are beef medallions. Then I got, this is the best lactose-free milk you can buy, in my opinion, and I know that's £1.29. This was on offer, lovelies, and it's a Carex, and it's just a, an antibacterial hand wash. So that's that. Did I show you? We've got a chicken. These two sauces here, lovelies, I picked up in tomato and basil, and this one here is in hot and spicy tomato and chilli. They, I normally pair up with something along the lines of these. These are Torlini, and these are the spinach and ricotta, and I have two of them. Then we just have some basic 30 meter kitchen foil. Um, you'll see there's a bottle of wine there, I'll show you that in a minute. And um, we've got some dried apricots, you know, they look like dried something else, but should never mind. Then we have these are really nice decaf tea bags. It's, you know, I have to have them in the evenings. Um, then I picked up two of these, which are then new apparently. So we have juicy strawberry gourmet gummy candies and then sour watermelon. Yeah, I like, I like sour things. Then I picked up on their specials this week, we have little things of Easy Peelers. Um, doesn't really say, I they're like Clementine type things. Then we picked up some of these Porky strips, and these are for, I would say, probably my um, Yorkshire Terrier. Then I thought, a lot of people have been trying this here, which is the lavender and, what is it, lavender and jasmine. Um, so that's that there. They're the kind of pod things for your washing machine. I picked up some of these things for the toilet. I don't know if they're any good, but sure, we'll soon find out. They won't deal. And then I needed a new cover for my ironing board. So I thought that was quite a nice design. Doesn't match anything else in my house, but sure, hey ho. So that's that. I, think, I know that there was, was €3.99. Euros. Then I'll bring you on to the wine. Now, I've got a good story with this one. I picked up one of their dupe palettes. Um, it was the dupe of the Urban Decay, I do believe. And I put it back when I seen that I needed wine more than I needed another eyeshadow palette. So that's basically all we have there, lovelies. I'm looking forward to giving these a wee bit of TLC because, as you can see, they've not been watered or anything and they're looking a little bit bedraggled of themselves. So if I can manage to get timing right and things, then I will put in prices of bits and pieces I got. But that's kind of like near enough a weekly shop for us minus things like pasta and rice and things like that and obviously there'd be more milk 
Um, so I'm just going to spin you around now because then I had to go into Tesco's and get the rest of the bits I needed. So let's go over here, shall we? Right, first of off, first of off, first of all, we'll start off with obviously we've got toilet rolls there. We've got Ristorante and Pizza Hawaiian, ham and pineapple, great job. Here we have um, some lamb's liver. That's just for me now. My other half wouldn't eat that. I have lamb mince, which I'll get um, four dinners out of, believe it or not, with that little pack there. Then I bought two um, strip loin steaks. Love them. As you can see, there's a price on that six euros. I thought they're very good. We got some sponges, lovelies, because, you know, we all need sponges, don't we? <laughs> I got some of these. Now, I love these. These are little sesame seed bars. Hold on. I'm making a ball to this video. Aha! But they're just like a sesame honey snack. And they're only 47 cent each. I remember the price on them once. So I've got two of them. And um, I've got two basmati rice. Yeah, I'm a cheap boy little put in the microwave stuff. Or you can stir fry it either. So there's two of them there. Um, some of the, my favourite cheap chips, actually, and I'm not a chip person, but the odd time I'll have them are these ones here, and they're made with Maris Pipers. So we have two sugars, because that's what we go through a week. I bought a couple of the McDonald's curry sauces. I tried a gluten-free one, just to see. Then I got two mild ones. I normally get this in a big container, but these were on offer, so it worked out cheaper. Then we have a big jar of Tesco coffee. I don't drink coffee, so it makes no difference to me what it is. Um, but I'm told it's nice. Then we have high juice black currant. Ooh, rich and velvety. Then we have a good jar. I can't be without that. Ah, oh, Mr. Oh. Gonna get done now for saying the name. Never mind. Big ting of Tesco olive oil there. What else haven't we shown you? Right, these here now is what my Yorkshire Terrier is fed on. She is... Um, irons and it's one of the best foods i can find for her digestive system and things like that so she gets that then lovely this is the normal um washing liquid i use and again it's a lavender one so i'm hoping now that maybe i can save a few pound by the one i showed you from aldi so that's basically it my whole shopping i hate to think at the moment because i've not calculated it up but let's see um, we had, if I can flip you around, it's awful kitchen. There we go. How are we doing? So I spent all days 49 euros and 48 cent in Tesco. And then I spent oh, 62 euros and 13 cent in Aldi. This is my first time I've been out to do my own food shop now, lovelies, in four months maybe just a little bit over four months and I will be doing a separate video on that on let's just say basically how I got on how I found going out for the first time after being in cocooning I am rattling this camera like a good thing maybe I'll try holding the other hand so that is that so you're getting a really good look at my extremely messy kitchen at the moment so I'm going to go for now Hope you enjoyed this. A few of you requested I did things like general prices and bits and pieces of food shopping. Some of you are a bit odd, aren't you, lovelies? Thanks for watching and I shall talk to you very, very soon in one of my next videos. Take care now.